Hi guys, my name is Vineet and this will be the series on Microsoft SQL Server and here we will perform some installations first. So in order to install SQL Server, uh, we need a virtual machine. So in order to have a virtual machine, we will install VMware Workstation Player. And now what is VMware Workstation Player? And it is a utility to run a single virtual machine on a Windows or a Linux PC and there's a link given below from where we can download this um, product uh, so if we click on that it will open up the VMware Workstation Player 15.5 version homepage and we can download using this particular link so basically uh, you can read more about it over here and, and this is an ideal utility for running a single virtual machine on a Windows or Linux PC and it can be used by students and educators for learning and training alright so what I have done is I have already downloaded this uh, VMware Workstation Player on my desktop let me show you quickly so this is the VMware Workstation Player uh, I have downloaded uh, using that particular link which I had shown you earlier so now let's go ahead and install this VMware Workstation Player. So I have double clicked on the utility and it has started the installation of VMware Workstation Player 15.5. So a dialog box will soon appear on the screen. And let's click on next. Accept the agreement. After reading through it, you may go through it and let's install it on the default location uh, I don't want to check for product updates neither I want to join the VMware customer experience improvement program let's click on next so we will put the icons on the desktop and the start menu program folders let's click on next and click on install so the installation has started now let's wait for it to finish In the meantime, uh, what I'm doing is I'm pausing this video and it will install uh, VMware Player in a while. I will be back. Thank you. So guys, uh, installation is finished and I got this box and uh, I will click on finish. And I do see VMware Workstation 15 player icon on my desktop. And if I open my network connections page, which can be opened by typing ncba.cpl, uh, it, is, it will show us two, two VMware virtual Ethernet adapter connections. These are basically virtual network cards. So let's close it and we can open VMware Workstation. Let me show you. So this is the interface for VMware Workstation 15 pair. Uh, I do see a virtual machine configured over there but let me delete it from disk and we will start from scratch we will create and configure a new VMware workstation machine so let me pause this video for a minute uh, so guys uh, once the installation for VMware workstation was finished it had asked me to uh, reboot my machine however I haven't rebooted it yet so um, the reboot will disrupt the video so I'm keeping this video till here uh, what we have done in this video is we have installed VMware in my next video uh, on VMware I will cover how you can configure a virtual machine how you can install an operating system um, we will go through that part in uh, my next video thank you so I'm wrapping up this video over here thank you